Okay, so not having it. Back with some new gameplay. This is take two. I ran out of time last time. I gotta wrap it up. I need to wrap it up box from Dave Chappelle. If any of you are familiar with that device, I actually went online and found out there's a website that tells you how to make a wrap it up box and it's very, very uh, detailed and the designs look very good. I just want to buy one. I don't want to make my own. I'm that lazy. I play video games a lot. I'm not exactly the type of guy that's like, you know, getting up in the morning and wanting to go to the woodworking shop to make a wrap it up box. But anyway, this is Metal of Honor Online. I like this game. Um, online is good because it's it was made by the same people who did uh, Battlefield, so they are a bunch of there are a bunch of similarities between the two which I like and it's good to be familiar with this as well as Battlefield because you can move between the two games seamlessly and there's not uh, there's not a big learning curve between these two games now there's a bit of a learning curve between Call of Duty and Battlefield and Medal of Honor because the two game styles are completely different I like Call of Duty games because they're fast tempo and they they are they're fun and you can have a lot of uh, good matches with while playing Call of Duty but I prefer Battlefield and Medal of Honor more simply because they're more realistic the sound is better in these games and it's not all arcade-ish and shit you know like there aren't any there, there are no perks or anything unless you want to well, not even that was only even perks. Those are weapon attachments like the red dot sight and the barrel and open tip ammunition. Ammunition. There's no commando. There's no sleight of hand and all that shit. You know, when I look at those perks for Call of Duty, I like them. I like using them. Don't get me wrong. I wish they would stay in the game. But that shit reminds me like an old arcade game. You know, it reminds me of an old arcade game because there's not going to be a point in time when you. As and I've never been, and I mean I'm in the military, but I've never been on the front lines. But I, I, don't, I imagine I've never heard of somebody shooting an enemy soldier and they drop a live grenade. I'm serious. I know. I, I mean I've never heard of somebody getting shot and you know you just dash through the bullets and knife somebody to death. So Call of Duty is fun. It's a really fun game. I like Call of Duty, not Call of Duty that Treyarch makes, Infinity Ward Call of Duty, but it's really arcade-ish. Battlefield and Medal of Honor is more realistic and they're two different types of games. The control schemes are, yeah, they're the same. Are they the same? Yeah, they're about the same. I don't know. I'm, I'm saying, I'm, I'm calling it. They're the same. But, so, going back and forth between those two, you won't have to worry about the controls, just the way the game plays itself. But, Medal of Honor, for me, it has the best storyline of any first person shooter available because it deals with a real life war and real world situations. We're not fighting the Russians. I'm sick of games coming out where we're fighting the Russians. We don't fight the Russians in real life. It's just not. I mean, it, if it makes a good game, I, I don't know. It was good when it first came out, but when you do that every game, it gets old. I'm tired of fighting the Russians. Come out with something else please maybe if at all possible and apparently it's not possible because we're still fighting the russian i don't know anyway it, during the weekends i talked about this a little bit more in the last video but during the weekends it's going to be oh man set apart for first person shooters you know i'm going to call it shoot 'em up saturday and shoot 'em up sunday respectively and every video just about every the majority of it the plan is that when I upload a video on the weekend it's going to be a first person shooter and during the week I'll have my five minute reviews and you know RPG gameplay like a Mass Effect or Dragon Age or you know whatever and um, so any other type of game but during the weekend is planned the plan is to have first person shooters so I think that's what I'm going to do now the plan could change without notice because next Thursday the resistance 3 beta starts up of course as you all know Thursday is not a weekend but I'm going to break my own rules 
because I'm a boss and I'm gonna upload a resistance 3 beta gameplay video which will I guess it will be a mini review I don't know it's just I'm uploading it so keep your eyes peeled and that's just keeping up with the newest games that are out and not being stale because if I have an access code for a beta I'm gonna upload a video for it because a it's current and B I want to share as much gameplay videos with you guys as possible and C um, I don't think I have a C but if I think of something I'm gonna put it in C so anyway this Thursday keep an eye out for resistance 3 beta gameplay resistance is a very good game if you have a PS3 and you haven't played resistance what the fuck is wrong with you that game is fucking awesome seriously if you have and kind of on the fence about getting resistance 3 again what the fuck is wrong with you the game is amazing anyway um, keep an eye out for that resistance 3 like I was saying is a very good game um, pick it up try it out watch the video maybe the video can sway you into purchasing it I don't know this video is just about done uh, keep an eye out for that I'm not having it and I'm out